Am I allowed to cry? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Forever Here. I hope that you are all doing well. Can I start off by saying the sun is doing its thing? I think for the past like 12 days in England, the sun has not shone, not even for like a single minute. No joke. It's been really, really weird. And finally, the clouds have parted and today I can see the sun, which is perfect because I'm about to do an unboxing. Now I want to start this off by saying I have never felt, even for a single second, just because I didn't own one of these, that I wasn't like a true fan or that I didn't belong or that I was missing out. Okay, obviously I wanted to own one of these, but I don't think that SB19 have ever gone out there and sort of said, you have to buy everything with our name on it. We want to. <laughs> I wish they would give us more. But we've never really had that kind of like, they want to be rich and they want to make constantly like loads of money off of us and uh, I don't know, I just never felt that. I don't know about you, but I just feel like that's a really beautiful thing, like you can choose to buy stuff, official merch, fan made stuff, and actually, can I tell you that this is one of the only fandoms where I'm seeing so much fan made stuff and it's given equal importance to the official merchandise. I think that's absolutely beautiful because we're allowing people to be creative, to be artistic, and I also want to own some of that stuff, and I will, and I do, and that's a whole other story. But talking about what is here before me, my first LSB, I am so excited. I think from my point of view, obviously I wanted to own one of these because I want to do all that I can to support our boys, but actually it was really important for me to somehow give them money, like officially, spend money on SB19. Of course, I have bought live streaming tickets previously where the money goes to them, but I've never really had the opportunity to buy any official merchandise. I've had it bought for me, which I am eternally grateful for, but I've never myself bought anything. And the funny thing is that when uh, the orders for this opened up in my very sleepy state, very early in the morning I saw that post and I rushed and I ordered it and it wasn't until later on that I realised that actually I could have just done it later on. It wasn't like a limited selection available only. Um, but I'm really glad, absolutely no regrets. I'm really glad that I was able to order it at that time. That was back in August and now it's November and what a fantastic wait it's been. Um, and I'm really looking forward to opening this. And I know that many of you own an LSB and you've seen one and you've held one, but this is exciting and I really want to do this with you. And many of you said that you wanted to see me unbox it. Um, so please can we do this together? And the other funny thing is that when this actually arrived, uh, on the official paperwork, on the email that I received, it did say uh, your package from Onesie Entertainment is on its way. Um, but when it actually arrived on the box, it said uh, from Julian, uh, from Yanni, and I, I did feel a little starstruck. I'm not going to lie to you. The last time I felt a little bit like that was when I saw Janet Jackson in concert. <laughs> so I was a little starstruck over Yanni. I was like, um, excuse me, what? It's really weird because it, SB19 and 1Z and the team are small knit at the moment, so I feel like I know quite a lot about each member of 1Z Entertainment, and for one of them, I don't know, for, for Yanni to have his name on the box, it just felt really weird. It's a little bit like, I don't know, when you post something online and uh, one of the team likes it or retweets it or something, do you know? Like when you have that interaction with them, you feel a little bit like, oh my gosh, like that's one of the team, one of the team that you're supporting because just like you, I'm not only supporting SB19 now, I am also supporting Onesie Entertainment and also 18 as well. So, it's the moment of truth. I have removed it from the FedEx box because that need not be here, that need not be between us. And actually I've got a really cool pen from FedEx. Is that like a normal thing? Does that happen? Last time, somebody sent me an SB19 t-shirt and I had a FedEx notebook and I couldn't figure out whether that notebook was from my friend or whether it was from FedEx. And then this time I had this and inside the box there was a FedEx pen and I couldn't figure out whether it was, <laughs> what's the deal? Why am I getting freebies? I have no idea. I'm grateful for everything. Um, but yes, as you can see, and I do have scissors. I am prepared today. I hope I need it. The thing I'm thinking about is, will it be charged? When I open it, will I be able to switch it on right now?
I'm seeing my first glimpses of it. I'm seeing it and obviously I want to keep the box like really in pristine condition because I've seen lots of 18 that have had the box signed and I think that would be like the ideal situation. I would like to have my box signed as well but I am going to take it out and display it I think. Maybe. Am I allowed to cry? My life is complete. I own an LSD. It's so beautiful. I even really like the box. Oh my god, I can't wait for that to open it. I'm so excited. Get this rubbish away from me. Shoo. Are you excited? Can you believe that I'm actually holding an LSD? It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Look at it. I just love everything about the box. Okay, I'm going to open it now. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, it's the, uh, the charger. I didn't even realise that the charger, the charging station for it, is one that will allow the LSB to stand up. That's going to make me displaying it like even easier. Not that I'm going to want it plugged in all the time, but that actually makes the whole thing easier because it will stand up. Like looking at the base of it anyway, it would probably stand up anywhere. I've seen people do that. Um, but yeah, I really like that. That's like a little, a little detail, a little pedantic detail that I quite like. <laughs> Okay, so I am really loving everything that I'm seeing in here right now, and I've got a little case and a booklet which I will go through in a second. Oh, there's something in there already. What's in there? I'm guessing that this little pouch will let me carry these, uh, the personalised part of it. Oh, okay. Obviously, because this is Pug to Tug era, which is why I've got the exclamation mark. So that means that every single time we have an era, we will get one of these, a new one, to add to it. And then, in here, I have got the personalised discs, so I've got Justin, I have got Pablo, oh no, not in any particular order, I was kind of expecting it to be in the typical order. So I've got Justin there, I've got Pablo, I've got Ken, I have got Stell, who, who might that be, I've never heard of his name before, and I've got Josh. So I've got those, and obviously Pug to Tug era, so I've got the little Pug to Tug button as well. And if you're wondering in what order I'm going to put these back in, I'm obviously going to put them back in in the order that we know them of. <laughs> so it's going to go Pablo. It's just because I am so OCD. Josh, Stell, Ken, Justin. Can I ask you a question about these? Do you carry all of them, or do you just carry the one for your bias? I mean, what, what's the deal? Obviously, we've got a pouch to be able to carry them all. When you're in the concert, it is quite difficult for you to, without losing them, to whip these out. Is it not? Like, how, what do you do? What's the, what's the protocol? So when I saw the little booklet in there, I did think to myself, I'm not going to read that. Does anybody actually read those? In my family, we have a joke. Instead of calling them instructions, we call them destructions because you don't read it until something has gone wrong. <laughs> I never ever look at like, you know when you're building a piece of furniture, I don't look at the instructions. I just try to do it and then if I get stuck, I look at the booklet. Something caught my eye and look at what it says here. Obviously we know this, but I just need to read it to you because this is mine. <laughs> the SB19 light stick represents a windmill. Similar to the inspiration of the SB19 logo, a windmill operates when there is wind. For SB19, 18 is their wind. Do you want me to cry? What was the purpose of putting that in this booklet? Do you want me to cry at your light stick? Like, why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that to me? Seriously, boys, you need to reconsider your tactics. <laughs> is that special thanks to 18? But yeah, it tells me a little bit more about uh, the center chip, 
and obviously we can change the light settings to reflect or to show our support for a particular member, a particular song or an era, which is exactly what I thought that that would be for. And as I was saying, like obviously with this one we get the Pathetag chip, um, I wonder how many more of these we will get and I realise I'm holding it up to you and you probably can't really see it that well because of the lighting, but you've seen it before. It's an exclamation mark. That is Paktatag. Um, and then again, it tells me like how long I need to press each button to actually operate it. Honestly, can I tell you, this is the first time in my life I have picked up the booklet and read it before I've picked up the item. <laughs> the self-control that is going on right here. Maybe this is what it means to grow up. Maybe I'm finally becoming an adult. Guys, don't tell anyone. Okay, I'm going to get it out. Oh, it's a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. That is weighty. Oh my gosh, it's even got the band on it as well. I thought that might be like an accessory that I'd have to buy. I didn't realize that would come with it. That's quite cool. Okay, so this is a lot heavier than I was expecting for it to be. Whoa, okay. That's so cool. It's a lot heavier, a lot sturdier than I was expecting for it to be. Absolutely like no disrespect to anybody, but I have... I only own one other light stick and that's the Bang Bong for Big Bang and I, I feel like that's a good quality one apart from like changing the batteries that's like a, a this is rechargeable which is amazing but that one's old school so it, it needs actual batteries in it and it's a pain to change the batteries but when I've shopped around for other light sticks when I've gone to stores um, and I've seen them they've been very flimsy very light and yeah I've not really been impressed by the quality of them and I'm quite proud of this and also um, I've talked about this like a little bit on and off throughout all of my videos but this sort of stuff really matters to me so it seems like that a real over-the-top amount of packaging was not required for this like there's not like bubble wrap and polystyrene and I've tried to be quite green and I really appreciate that there's not a ton of crap in this that I'm now gonna need to like recycle or figure out how I'm gonna get rid of it like what the packaging that has been made for it is good enough to actually transport this um, and it arrived to me in one piece and I'm holding it in my hand oh my gosh look Do you think the next step's gonna be me actually seeing it's been an idea in real life? <gasps> Should I press the button? What button am I supposed to press? Which one? 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 I wanna press SB. I'm supposed to hold it, aren't I? <gasps> that is a beautiful colour, and that is the first time that obviously I'm seeing something like that in real life, so when everybody talks about the blue ocean, you see it and it looks beautiful, but now I actually know the colour of that. Don't worry, I will make it dark in here in a second uh, so we can enjoy that properly, but that is a gorgeous shade of blue. <gasps> okay, what am I supposed to do now? This is where I should have probably read the instructions, but instead I am just going to keep pressing it to see what happens. <gasps> I like that one. That is really nice. And I'm thinking in my head, how am I going to change the chip? What do I need to do to change a chip? <gasps> do you know what fruit is red? <laughs> I wonder if you can see them in my frame. It might help. Strawberries, strawberry red for Stell, for Superman, <laughs> but also for Wild Tonight. Don't you worry. <gasps> oh, nice. Okay, the colours are really, really vibrant. This is really well made. This is absolutely awesome. I'm loving how vibrant the colours are because I don't know, I wasn't necessarily expecting for the colours to show up that brightly. Again, you've seen it in real life and you can, you can see right there in the video that it's not doing it justice, but with my eyes, like, the colours are so, so bright. I absolutely love that. Oh my gosh, I can totally see it now. Like, uh, during Surreal, like, that green. Oh, it just looks so amazing. All of the colours are so amazing. So wait, what happens if I press the other button? What does the other button do? Does somebody want to tell me? <gasps> so we've got the plain light, so that's back to the beginning, isn't it? Oh no, 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 not quite. Now we're, yeah, we're, we're rotating through again. Hey, what does the other button do? Is this where I was supposed to read it? To see what happens? What does the other button do? Is somebody tell me what does the other button do? Should I read the instructions? Okay. 
also know because it's a design I need to worry. It all works, but the 18 button is for the design only. I appreciate that they gave us a button to use, even if it doesn't necessarily do anything, but I think that that's also hinting at something in the future. What do you think that that button could do? Obviously this button rotates the colours and it makes all the magic happen, but what do you think that button could do? I think that we should put forth our designs, our ideas, to Onesie Entertainment and uh, have it made into a reality. I feel like that should do something, but I don't know what. Like maybe you could fill it with confetti and you press it and confetti pours out of it or something. But maybe that's not very green. Green. Yeah, you literally can't see it as much as it is, like, here. It's super, super bright. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. <gasps> okay, that was a lot easier than I was thinking. I quite like that light, too. Okay. It honestly looks so cool. I can't get over how chunky it is. <laughs> is that just my word? Is that the word that I like to use to describe things that I like? Like, chunky, hunky style. I just need to clean it now. And I've put the pug to tug one on because I love pug to tug, pug to tug forever. I am honestly so impressed with the quality of this. I don't really know what I was expecting. I guess because, as I've said, I've looked at like K-pop light sticks before, and I don't know if I rate them that highly. Um, so I don't really know what I was expecting. Like I, I mean, I was gonna love it no matter what but I just didn't know what quality-wise it was going to be like. Can I tell you, like, let me just list you a few of the things that I'm really loving. I think A, the quality of this light stick is just so superior. It seems really sturdy. It's got a really nice weight to it as well. And I really like that it's rechargeable. I think that is the way to go. I mean, A, that's kind of like after my green heart but also it just makes things so much easier for you as a user because you're not having to faff around with like batteries. As I said, Bang Bong is the most beautiful uh, light stick, but trying to change those batteries is like, you need to be like an engineer in order to do that. It's near impossible without breaking the whole thing. So I think that the rechargeable thing is just so today and it just makes perfect sense to do that. Um, I, I really, really love the design. I just think it looks fantastic. It's quite like eye-catching and especially I can imagine in like a pitch black environment sort of thing, it would really shine very bright. I'm loving that we get the option to obviously have the original color, but you can work your way through and have um, the you know specific colors for you know the, the era or the member that you are wanting to support at that time. I think that is really good. What I was then not expecting, I knew that it was there, but really taking it into account today that you get the, you get each member's name, I think that is just absolutely fantastic. That is what's making the LSB really different for me, to be honest, because colour-wise, I know that usually you get a light stick that sticks to the group's colour, the fandom colour, etc., but it feels like an award. This is so weird. It, it honestly feels like an award. Um, 
but having the additional chips for the members, I think that that is something that I've not seen previously, so I really, really, I think I value that a lot. It means a lot. I don't know if I would go to a concert necessarily and have these loose little chips with me where you might get knocked by someone and it might drop as you're trying to change it, for instance. It's maybe a little bit too much faffing around for me, personally. I'd be too worried that I'm going to lose it and I don't think at this point you can buy the individual chips. I think that's something that Onesie could look to do in the future is to sell individual chips and I think they probably will as well, especially seeing as we've got the uh, Pug the Tug chip that came in here. I reckon that they're thinking about creating that additional merchandise because obviously this light stick is going to stay for a few years at least, I hope. Um, so they will just create the additional chips to go with it and it's another way to make money. Obviously they're going to be not that expensive because they are just little bits of plastic but I think that many of us would like to be able to purchase one of those um, and yeah I look forward to being able to see what happens with those because that is really interesting. Overall the quality of everything, the quality of the box that it came in, the quality of the packaging, uh, this, everything, it just does not feel cheap, it feels really really well manufactured um, and sustainable, it's not like you're going to have to buy a new one every now and again, you know, obviously don't drop it, don't put it in water, there's similar sorts of instructions that you'd be given for anything of value, but I just really like how sturdy it is, um, and yeah, I just am so incredibly proud to finally have one, and I'm so pleased, and I can't wait to finally display it so I can just have it up at all times, um, because I need to have this up. I just, I loved everything about it, like, it feels very surreal to think that I have my own LSB now. I'm just really pleased that SB19 decided to have a light stick because obviously for a period of time they were trying to stay clear of being compared to K-pop, but the truth is that it, I don't know, it just creates a different sort of an experience, a different sort of fan experience if you are going to a concert and you have something else to hold up. Like very recently I went to a Janet Jackson concert and there was a period where she was singing her ballads and she said, everybody put your phone lights on and you look around and it's such a magical moment as well. And I, I get it, I understand why K-pop started that. People had been doing it previously. I guess people back in the day used to do it with candles or lighters. I've seen Michael Jackson concerts where people had lighters. Um, and I just really love that SB19 didn't think, oh no, we want to be so far away from K-pop that we're not going to introduce light sticks into P-pop. I, I love that they just, they chose to keep that part of, because I think actually it, it's moved away from being just K-pop and it's moved into popular culture. So I think that this is actually a part of pop music now rather than just K-pop, of course. The one and only G-Dragon will always be known for creating the very first light stick, but I think that now this belongs to pop and I'm really glad that SB19 have one and one that is so well made, one that we can be proud of and one that is just so beautiful and it's mine and it's yours and it's ours. And that is it. I am finally the owner of SB19's LSB and I'm so proud of them and I can't wait for world domination and hopefully for 2025 to finally give me an opportunity to see them in real life, to scream my head off at that concert, and to connect with my fellow 18, with my best friends. Um, I really, really look forward to it. And just watch this space and see where this ends up. I plan on displaying it, and I will keep you updated on my LSB, and I will also looking be looking to you for inspiration as to how I can dress this baby up too. And that's it. Thank you so much for being here for my very special unboxing. This has been really, really exciting for me. I feel like I hit a lot of milestones before even. I've had a weird time in this fandom, and I mean weird in the best way, because I, I've kind of done everything the opposite, right? So a lot of people get into SB19, they go and see them in real life, and they're like, yep, yeah, that's it, certified 18. And I've had a real extended period of time where I've just watched them through videos, through live streams, listened to their music and supported them from afar. And then I slowly started to get some merchandise all through my really, really kind friends. 
um, and then I was able to secure my first proper bit of like bit of merchandise that I bought myself and next step surely the next step is for me to see SB19 in person so I've done everything like kind of topsy-turvy back to front um, but I have had just the best experience. And as this looks a little bit like an award, I want to take this opportunity obviously to say a huge thank you to 18 because obviously I was trying to do one thing, I was heading one way with my channel and suddenly I met SB19, I met 18 and the way that you have I don't know, like just put your arms around me and taking me in as one of your own, like I don't really know how to deal with that, how to, how to process that or how to repay you and all I keep doing is making more and more of my videos and I don't really know if that's what anybody wants to watch or not but uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking about what I can do for this fandom and maybe one day that means not being in front of a camera, maybe that means me promoting SV19 through other means but just always know that even if I do not post videos on YouTube um, or if I am not on X and I'm not screaming about the boys in some sort of public platform I am always with them, always following them and basically they're not going to get rid of me I will be around in some way or another and I'm definitely not saying goodbye um, I've got lots of stuff to catch up on I've got a ton of stuff that hopefully I'll be able to watch with you this week but basically I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody for just being so real, for being so genuine and in return for allowing me to be myself as well and that's it basically I love you, you love me, we're a happy family, <laughs> we are a happy family, and look at it. So do you own an LSB, and have you dressed it up in any way? If you have, please give me ideas. Perhaps I should do a competition, and whoever gives me the best idea will win a prize. Let's see, I quite like that idea actually. Thank you so much for watching this unboxing. I hope that you had fun and until I see you next time, take care, stay safe, bye. And the other fun thing that I've noticed as I've been switching it on and off is as it switches off, it goes through all of the colors which I really like. Do you know what I mean? Watch this. I think that's so cool. That was actually really unnecessary but that's such a cool addition to the whole thing. Like, I, I just want to turn it on and off just so I get to see that. But I've seen, I'm not going to do that. But it's so cool. I mean, and the other thing that I need to do is to measure it up, which is why I'm actually here, because I'm measuring it up so I can buy my display box, so I can put it up somewhere. Obviously, I always have my stars and stuff up there, so like right next to it, I could have a display box with my LSB in it, and I could just switch it on all the time. It kind of fits as well. It's a windmill, but like because it's got points, it kind of fits in with my star display, and I just feel like it needs to be up there in all of its beauty and all of its glory. So I actually sat here measuring it to see if I can get my hands on that acrylic box, like pretty much ASAP. I'm not quite done with my fun yet. I decided. Did I tell you that it gets dark here in England, like at 4.30 now? <laughs> Which is quite perfect. Because look, look what I can do.